gosh. How have you been doing during lockdown and quarantine and the craziness? Good. How have you and Matthew been doing? Like, has this, has this pandemic brought you guys close together? Or are you like, when are we going to get our jobs going here? We're naturally introverts um, in general, and we love being home. So you guys also just celebrated your year anniversary? Yeah. Um, it goes by so fast. What did you do to celebrate? I stayed home. He got me a new puppy. So her oh name my is... Gosh, I know. I saw that. She's adorable. She's our little Frenchie that just loves peeing everywhere. I need to replace all the furniture, even the couch, because it's starting to get crazy. Okay, let's, can we talk about dancing with the stars yeah, for a moment? Do, it. do you miss dancing? Have you been figuring um, out a way to keep dancing during quarantine? You know, I've been, I actually, yeah, I do miss dancing, but I've been boxing. So boxing for me has been very similar, I guess you can say. The changes that are on the way for season 29. Are you, are you going to be a part of it? I, you know, I would love to. I don't know yet. We don't know. Okay. We know who's not coming back, Aaron and Tom. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? You know, um, I feel a little bit sad. I mean, a lot sad because Tom has been my dance dad, I used to call him, you know, and I still do to this day. And we've been there from the beginning, especially Tom has been there from the first season. I was there from second season. Um, so yeah, my heart sank when I found out they're family and they will always be family. At the end of the day, the show's going on season 29 and, you know, maybe the executives thought it was time to evolve a little bit. You know, with, right, with that change comes Tyra. Um, what do you think about her as the new host and, uh, and executive producer, I guess? Yeah. You know, I've never met Tyra before, but I've only heard great things and yeah. she has so much energy and I think she loves to dance. Have you heard anything about how it's going to be executed? I think they're going to, when it comes to rehearsing, let's say, you know, we used to rehearse under the same roof. I believe that we're all going to have time slots, right? And I think when it comes to cameras, I think everything is just going to be a lot less and stripped back. You know, right. no audience. let's talk about your diamond art because I, I find it, it's, I find it fascinating. Tell me how it works. Yeah. So basically, so what you see here is a finished, um, diamond painting. I love that. Your kits. So it'll come in a box like you see here. I have four that are launching and it comes in, you have everything you need in this kit, basically in this box. So I use all those Swarovski rhinestones you see on our costumes, stole them, picked them off. No, I'm kidding. I bought my own Swarovski and I just did whatever I felt like I wanted to do, you know, but if you don't want to get creative or it is creative, but if you don't want to like follow rules, there's a key yeah. right here, legend that you follow. And then with that comes your drills slash rhinestones. I know that you've worn all these crazy costumes. Does that like trickle into your mask game? Um, do we, are we bedazzling our masks or what are we doing? <laughs> we are taking up any type of, like I've got so many rhinestones, so I gotta use those Swarovski rhinestones and just put on a mask and then cut to, we're about to launch a whole mask line in a couple weeks, so I'm very excited. Oh my gosh. Oh, I, I love it. What's, it. what's the name of it? Um, it's just gonna be Cheryl Burke, and I'm actually collaborating with um, Bailey Blue. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.